This function returns the mean value of a list. But we want to make it more intelligent. We want the function to return the mean even if the input value is a dictionary. So when the input value is a list, it will going to apply a specific algorithm and return the specific value, which is the mean of the list. When it's a dictionary, it's going to check if it's a dictionary and apply the corresponding algorithm that calculates the mean value of a dictionary. So we know that some Monday temperatures divided by length of Monday temperatures gives you the mean of the list. Similarly, student grades, which is a dictionary, its values, the sum of its values divided by the length of the student grades dictionary will give you the mean. So we want our function to check and make a decision. This is a parameter. Let me change it to value. Value is a more meaningful name since what we are processing will not only be a list, but it can also be a dictionary. And then, under the function, everything has to be indented. You can see the whole body of the function is indented. So the conditional block that I'm going to write here is also going to be indented. It starts with if. If you remember, we used a type function earlier in the course, which returned the type of an object. For example, this is a dictionary, an empty one, but it's still a dictionary. So what you can do here is you can say if type value double assignment operator, which means equal. It's a comparison operator. It checks equality. If that is a dict, a colon, enter, and it has to be indented with four spaces. So you see it's another level of indentation. It's one here for if, and this is for the function. So here, the mean will be equal to sum of value dot values divided by the length of value. So this is a dictionary, dict dot values and length of the dictionary. I have to close the sum function call there like that and enter if you are done with the if block. So if that's all what you want to check, then you say else. And we have this code, which has to be indented under else as well. And that's it. Let me try this. So with student grades, the dictionary as input, we got this value here. If I used the list Monday temperatures, it's going to give me the other value, which is the mean of the Monday temperatures. So that's an if and else conditional. But let me explain it line by line in the next video.